In this video I am going to show you, how to use formulas with, if, statements, in families. This is a canopy family. If you change the length, the number of mullions, is automatically calculated. How can this be done in a family? This is a short explanation, how I created this family. Make one mullion using the extrusion feature. Then use the array command, check the, last, option and the, group and associate, option. Then right click the number of the array, and create a parameter called, count. Don't worry about the formula. I will explain it later. There are two more parameters. The parameter called length, which defines the length of the canopy, and the parameter called input length, for the user input. As next, define the if statements. The user puts in the input length. I check if this length is at least 2 feet and 6 inches. If it is smaller, I change it to 2 feet and 6 inches. As next, I divide the length by 2 feet and 6 inches, which gives me the number of separations. There is one thing to consider. When the array number shows a value of 2, then there is no mullion in between. The canopy consists still of one part. If it shows a value of 3 then there is one mullion in between and there are two parts. The, count, parameter has to reflect this behavior. For that reason, I created this formula, which contains an if statement. This if statement checks, if the mullion spacing is larger than 4 feet. If this is true, then the count parameter, is increased by 1. There is another important thing, to be aware of. If the number value of the array equals 1, then there will be an error message. That means, that you have to make sure in your formula, that the count value, is never equal to 1. I check this here, if the count value is equal to 1, it is set to 2. Let's test the family. I give in, 2 feet, for the input length. Remember, that I define the minimum length of the canopy with 2 feet and 6 inches. So this is okay. Now, let's check the maximum mullion spacing. If the length of the canopy is 8 feet, then there should be two parts with 4 feet length. This, is okay too. If we make the canopy longer than 8 feet, let's say 8 feet and 1 inch, then there should be three parts. This looks also good. If you don't want to miss my next tips and tricks video, then please subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.